Heart to Heart, a Catholic media ministry presents Season of Joy, Reflections for the 50 Days of Easter. Today's reflection is by Father Damien Torres Botello. Father Damien, a Jesuit priest from Kansas City, Missouri, has three decades of professional theater experience amplifying marginalized voices. With expertise in organizational leadership and social justice advocacy, he proficiently shapes and maintains inspirational and transformational spaces. He serves as parochial vicar and local pastor at Bellarmine Chapel in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, let's listen to today's scripture, followed by Father Damien's reflection. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. We see in our passage from Acts that the word of God increases and multiplies. This kind of holy contagion highlights the growth and spread of the message of God's word. Barnabas and Saul, after completing their service in Jerusalem, returned to Antioch with John, also known as Mark. In Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, including Barnabas, Saul, and others. As they were worshiping and fasting, the Holy Spirit spoke to them, calling them to be set apart for a specific work. Barnabas and Saul, led by the Holy Spirit, went to Seleucia and then sailed to Cyprus. Upon arriving in Salamis, they began proclaiming the word of God in the synagogues. John was with them, assisting in their mission. This passage highlights the importance of being receptive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Barnabas and Saul were chosen and set apart for a specific work by the Holy Spirit. Isn't this true for all of us? Some of us are parents. Some of us are teachers and spouses and caretakers. We all are set apart in our own way within our communities to spread Christ's message through action and being and loving. Just like Barnabas and Saul, who obediently followed the Spirit's guidance and embarked on their mission to proclaim the word of God, so too do we. The presence of John, who assisted Barnabas and Saul, shows the importance of teamwork and collaboration in spreading the message of God. Together, they worked to proclaim the word of God in the synagogues, which is to say, to be disciples of Christ is to be in partnership, in community, not in a bubble, not alone. Our scripture reading reminds us of the power and impact of the word of God. It is a living and active force that increases and multiplies. It also emphasizes our vital role in carrying out God's work and the importance of being open to the leading of the Holy Spirit. As we reflect on this scripture, let us consider how we can be receptive to the nudgings of the Holy Spirit in our own lives. We can also consider how we can collaborate with others in spreading the message of Christ's love and mission and be active participants in the growth and multiplication 
of the Word of God. We hope you've enjoyed today's Season of Joy Reflection. Tune in tomorrow for the next edition in our Easter series. And if you haven't already joined our email list, visit htoh.us to sign up and receive more inspirational content delivered right to your inbox. May God bless your heart and the hearts of all your loved ones.